Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J. Today the purpose of this video guys is to show you how to root the HTC Galaxy Note 3. As we know this is the Note 3 clone and I'm going to show you guys that I already have rooted this phone. As you can see here we have the super user application right here and it's very simple guys. It's pretty much the same tool we've been using uh, for pretty much all MTK6589 devices. Uh, I'm going to show you the link below. All you have to do is once you download the zip file you got extracted. Uh, in this case, I extracted into my desktop, and you're gonna see a folder just like this one. So um, you're gonna double click it, all right? And then here you're gonna see a whole bunch of files. Next thing you gotta do, guys, this phone from um, from factory it came already with the uh, with the USB debugging already enabled. But if it's not, then all you have to do is you go to settings, then you go to more, and then at the bottom you're gonna see developers option and you gotta make sure that you check where it says USB debugging, okay? Uh, to install the drivers, guys, I use Snappy. Uh, Snappy, well, this is a, a Chinese type of uh, application. Uh, it's a Chinese-based application that will let you uh, install the drivers easily, and that way you don't have to be searching around, okay, guys? So once you have done that, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your, uh, your cell phone to the computer through USB, and then you're gonna open where it says, let me see, I'm gonna try to zoom this up a little bit for you guys. You're gonna select run batch file. You're gonna select this one right here, you're gonna double click, and then you're gonna see a command prompt coming up. So next thing you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna do just as it says here. It says um, enter any key to continue. So you're gonna do that. In this case, I'm gonna press enter. All right, and now it's doing its thing, guys. So you gotta leave it alone, and it's gonna start uh, doing all the process, installing uh, Super User, uh, and all that good stuff. Okay, so now once completed, you're gonna select any key to continue, and now your phone is gonna reboot. In this video, guys, I'm also gonna show you um, the 3G availability on this uh, on this phone. I actually finally got straight talk to work so I'm gonna show you guys that this phone actually supports 3G um, I know that uh, many other Androids do as well but I haven't been able to prove that to you due to the fact that I didn't have the straight talk service I had T-Mobile but just for you guys I decided to open a new account with straight talk and show you the 3G test so guys uh, that's pretty much it now you're gonna see when you go to, to your app tray and you scroll to the side you're gonna see here a super user as you already saw before so yeah, this route does work very well. Uh, here I have the case from an uh, original Galaxy uh, Note 3. And I'm going to put it on just so you guys see that this phone is has the exact same measurements as the original Note 3. I'm not sure if you can see this guys, but everything fits exactly where it should be. Alright guys, so next thing we're going to do is, as I told you, I'm going to go to um, the settings here and I'm going to show you the APN settings so that you see that I have straight talk. I'm going to go to where it says connect, then I'm going to go to more, mobile networks, access point names, and then you're going to see here straight talk. So this is all the APNs that I have, so you can see it says straight talk, TF data, uh, port 80, whatnot, and the, here we have the, the MMSC settings and the proxy. So you see that I'm using straight talk. Next thing I'm going to do now is the a speed test on the internet. I'm going to use speed test. And usually, guys, the best test that I've gotten, it was about almost 8 megabits per second in download speed, which is not bad at all. So here we have almost four. We got to four. And then the upload speed is usually about one megabit. So again guys, I paid 215 for this phone. I think that for the price and you know knowing what it is and having all the uh, you know the features that it has and that it looks just identical to the original thing I think it's worth it uh, for those who are you know on a tight budget and are looking for an affordable phone this is definitely your answer here guys 
So I'm gonna show you also the results that I've gotten before. Uh, this is the one I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see this right here. I got a 7.5 megabits download. So it all depends on the area you're at. Uh, so yes, guys, it does work very well. Well, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment below, subscribe for more, and have a good one, guys.